I decided to take a few weeks off and go to Belize several years ago. I had gone out uh, one evening and I met a guy at the bar and had, had a beer or two. He said uh, he had this adventure that would be perfect for me and we ended up going way back into the rainforest and ended up at this huge cave entrance. So we get ourselves geared up, we put headlamps on. When we started, the water was probably about knee deep and it quickly began getting deeper and deeper. And the cave itself started narrowing to the point where we actually had to swim up river. And right about the time it gets completely pitch dark, I noticed bats, hundreds of them, just swarming. And they're just buzzing around your head like mosquitoes. But we kept going back into this little tiny cave and I have never experienced that level of darkness in my life. I mean, you know, hundreds of feet below the Earth's surface, no light pollution whatsoever. But within seconds, I was just completely disoriented. And you start thinking about just how far down you are and how it would just take, you know, a little earthquake to just have the cave collapse. And you think all the worst thoughts possible. We sat in the darkness, I would say, for probably two or three minutes. It felt like a solid hour. And then the guide switched his headlamp back on. And we all followed his beam of light as it moved about 20 feet away from us and then came to a full halt. And it was on three human skeletons. They were laying on the floor basically curled up. It was terrifying. I thought, you know, was this his last tour group? You know, who is this guy? They really started panicking. They were apparently human sacrifices to some Mayan gods. And I just remember thinking, get me the f*** out of here. This is not fun. We packed up and headed back. That was plenty for me. see how much isolation I can actually tolerate. These new cameras allow us to see them, but all they see is darkness. Darkness, a two-night survival event, starts Wednesday, August 2nd at 10 on Discovery.